Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashdurfs and welcome to my channel where I teach you how to code. In today's video, we are going to actually be taking a step back, looking at what we've done this week, as well as look at some of your artworks that you've sent me on OpenSea. <laughs> I want to start off by saying thank you to the 19,000 subscribers to my channel. You guys have been amazing in my YouTube journey and I want to give back and start a tradition by giving away $100 to people in the comment section. All you need to do is be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment on what you've learned or what you would like to see in the future. I love reading your comments so please go ahead and do that and leave a like on this video. Thanks for the support as always, let's get started with this video. In this past week, I've made some videos around creating smart contracts and dApps and you guys seem to have loved it. The reason for that is because you not only get to learn about blockchain and how to do different things other than NFTs, but you also get to learn how to code in React and do a bit of styling. I know a lot of requests came through for me to do more CSS tutorials and I will indeed do so. The other thing is the Hashtips art engine is the very popular art engine that's being used across the world to create generative art. Now there has been a version update on version 1.1.1. Now these updates were fixing the path issue that people have encountered, adding a preview GIF that you can make from your collection and smoothing of images. I will make a separate video regarding this to show all the updates in detail. Leave me in the comment section below a comment if you think I should redo this and make a full video from start to finish how to use the Hashtip art engine in its current version state. I would love to do that for everyone. As for the future videos coming up, I will be delving into more blockchain oriented Solidity programs that you can use in everyday kind of situations. So we're going to learn more about Solidity and programming smart contracts. That's going to be super cool. We'll also focus more on the Hashtips art engine in generating code as well as CSS tutorials. So stick around for those videos. Then lastly, also coming up is some secretive, very cool project that's going to drop by the end of November. I'll give you a slight glimpse. The amazing project that I'm talking about is the Sketchy Ape Book Club NFT drop happening end of November. Now, if you have missed out on any of the big ape drops out there on the Ethereum blockchain, and you love art and you want to check something out that's worthwhile, go and check them out on Discord and Twitter. They literally just started and it's a good time to get in and watch the news as it progresses. I'm sure you're going to hear a lot more about this on my channel as well. Each one of these apes have been hand drawn and scanned in and then ran through the Hashtips art engine to produce unique, amazing artworks. The fact that each one of these ape layers is hand drawn and scanned in makes it quite unique. And I just simply love this banner image. Now let's take a look at your NFTs that the community has sent me. I'm going to show off three of my favorite ones, but I do want to say thank you to everyone who has sent me their NFT collections. I know it takes a lot of work and that you are proud of what you have created. For some reason, some of your NFTs ends up in my hidden section which is also fine because I do go through them and go and pick some there as well. So don't worry about that. Then if you want your NFT to be showcased and possibly picked, go ahead and send your NFT to my address in the description of this video. Let me get started with my favorite ones. My first pick for the week would be this bad girls initiative. So this is a pretty cool NFT and when I saw it immediately, it reminded me of a painting that you can actually hang on the wall. That's mainly because I think the artist did this digitally with these brush strokes that you can see either in Photoshop or some other illustrative program. But anyway, that's not the whole point. The point is that these look pretty cool. When I go into the full collection, I can see that they also had this awesome reveal image with a person or a girl obviously wearing cat ears over there. As I was scrolling down, I realized that there was a lot of thought gone into this collection. I love this face mask. I only wish I had one of those. Maybe I'll get it, but um, this is pretty cool stuff. I like the fact that there's some digital stuff happening. It's kind of a mixture between 
the stylized feel, digital space. Um, the backgrounds are kind of cool and looking luminescent. And then you get these cat ears with headphones, almost looking like gamer girls, you know, or, or something like that as well. But not only. And then you get the ones with the hats, much more chilled looking, uh, summer vibes, and the tattoos on the faces. This one has like a branded tattoo, looking like a barcode. So there's some kind of deep symbolism happening with this collection as well. Now, these are definitely bad girls, so I think these are pretty cool. So thank you for the person who's actually sent me my Bad Girls Initiative NFT. Moving on to my next favorite for the week is the Anthropophobia, Anthropophobia viruses. I don't know how to say that, but anyway, maybe you can let me know in the comments how you would say that. Then, when I saw this collection, I first thought like, okay, a bit of scribbles, and uh, I moved past it. But then I went back to it and I saw that there's much more to it. There's a little signature at the bottom and that in itself started making a whole picture to me. It means that this is not just scribbles. These scribbles have intent behind them making it abstract art. And as you know me from my style in what I do as a artist on the side, I love abstract, I love expressionism, and I love symbolism. Now, the fact that this guy or this uh, girl, whatever the artist is, has done these abstract artworks, and I can see it's generated as well, is pretty unique. I like the fact that you can get emotion from looking at each one of these individually. And I also like the fact that there's a little signature, bringing a much more personalized feel towards this collection. So thank you to the artist for sending me this amazing abstract artwork. Now the next one that I want to take a look at is the Hello Bobby collection. Now Bobby number 2732 is actually me as Hashlips as the character. That is not the reason why I picked it, but that in itself just looks so amazing. I think you guys can agree that this artist really has a unique style. When you click on the Hello Bobby collection, you can see that there are hundreds of these characters, some resembling famous characters that I've seen, um, and it's just pretty cool. I absolutely love this style. It makes me think of something when I saw when I was a child. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments as well what style you think this is. But um, that in itself, it just was an amazing collection to have a look at. And I just simply love the style, love the artworks, and thank you for the artist to make one dedicated to me. That is it for my favorite picks for the week. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. My last comment is around getting back to the community. Now, as you guys know, I do have a full-time job. I am a full-time developer, so my day job stays my day job, and YouTube and my side things I only have time for in the evenings and weekends. So. I sometimes can't get back to everyone. I try my best. That being the case, I am looking at new ways of communicating with you guys. So keep on doing comments and leaving me messages on Twitter because I do go through it and read it. Other ways that you can communicate with the community is basically by going to the hashtips.online website and going joining Discord or Telegram. As you can see, our Discord group is growing. It's over 7,000 members and there's a lot of developers in there that will help you with if you have issues or you might find me there as well from time to time. Now with all the admin out of the way, let me share something personal from my side to you guys. I think it's something nice that I'm going to also add to my weekly updates. So as you guys know, I am an artist by heart, a coder and I love what I do in all aspects of my life. Uh, way back in 2019, I actually got the opportunity to write a book called I, You, Me. So I've written a book before and that's just something interesting about me. And that's just something I would like to share with everyone. Other than that, have an amazing week guys and I'll check you in the next video.